the first thing that happened was people had a huge loss of control. Everything about normal life was gone. You mentioned that it's become popular slash almost trendy, right? Like, why do you think that that is? Oh, Witchcraft is about taking back control. It's about reclaiming your power and taking things into your own hands. Witchcraft has kind of always been like that. Um, even things that aren't witchcraft, like folk magic, has been about, you know, survival, necessity, taking matters into your own hands, or help going to someone who can help you without having to, like, uh, fight for access to it. Two-ish years ago, we had the pandemic. And then the first thing that happened was people had a huge loss of control. Everything about normal life was gone. So I wasn't surprised that in 2020, when I logged on to TikTok and started posting about witchcraft, the response was my things going viral and a lot of people being interested because it allowed people to take back control and take back their power at a time when a lot of people who had never felt powerless before were feeling powerless. And a lot of people that had never experienced something in which their normal life was ripped out from under them experienced it. In regards, a lot of times the witches that I know that have been around for a long time had that happen when they were kids <laughs> um, or something happened to kind of you know, then that's not every single witch. That's like a few of my friends and myself included. I had like something happen where I needed, I turned to the universe and I'm like, hey universe, I need you to tell me that this is the way I need to go. And when the universe responded, I moved in that direction. Um, But witchcraft creates a space for people that may not be represented or may not feel represented. Um within particular religions, which is why I say a lot of witches may be ex-Christians, because in Christianity, especially those who have experienced religious trauma, witchcraft appears as not only the, a lot of times seen as the antithesis to Christianity, which may not be how everyone sees it, but it's how a lot of people see it, as this kind of standing in opposal to uh, oppression or dominant religion. It seems to primarily attract women. Is why why is that? Is that I would say Am I wrong? Is that just good a, question. I think a lot of women are witches. I also think that there is a growing base of like non-binary queer individuals who are witches. I also know a lot of queer men who are witches. I do know some straight men too that are witches. Um but I would say it's probably because a lot of people think that witchcraft is for women. I think that that is I think that the historically the representation of witches have has been mostly women and I sure as hell think there are plenty of men out there who have an interest in it but feel like witchcraft isn't for them. I mean I think a lot of the a lot of public witches are probably women but I do know a lot of uh, witches who are men and they're they're good. I love them. I can see why it's appealing. Mm -hmm. The idea of you can take control and you can do it your way. Skeptics always come to me and they're like, prove witchcraft is real. And here's the thing is I can't prove witchcraft is real to you. I can't sit here and give you the evidence that you would consider real and make you happy about that. Like, you can't do that. But I try to approach it from if it's working for people and they believe in it, and it's not harming you, why are you so upset? I try to come from that place of, I am minding my business. And then some people get angry because someone recently was angry because they feel like everyone who is a witch and believes in witchcraft and sells services like tarot readings or spells is a scammer. Which I can't really control that person's thoughts. That's their own kind of, that's their own opinion. And I'm not going to change it, especially if they really strong, like, feel really strongly about that. And I kind of come to the point of when skeptics are kind of, there's been, like, an influx of them on TikTok recently. But when skeptics are like, curse me so I know it's real. Curse me and prove witchcraft is real. I just say no, because there's a position of, 
there's two types of skeptics. There's skeptics that are really interested and actually want to hear how it works and maybe try it for themselves and see if there's anything to it. And then there are skeptics who are trying to get you to debase yourself and do something for like cast a spell on them and then they say that no matter what you know it doesn't they aren't going to think anything's going to happen i can't go to a skeptic who is who 100 does not believe in witchcraft and doesn't have any interest in learning anything about witchcraft and tell and convince them that it is real because they're not going to be convinced there's no way for me to convince them I kind of come from the position of, you know, if people believe in it, it's real. That's something that my friend who is a folklorist told me is with folklore, it doesn't matter if at one point it was real or not real. If people believe in it, it is now real. Because someone out there believes wholeheartedly, many people believe that it is wholeheartedly how the world works and that it exists. Who are you to tell them no if you don't know anything about it? Thank you.